Hi Taurus, welcome to your September monthly tarot reading. This will be a general six card spread to see what's coming up for you for the month of September. Uh, thank you again for joining me, liking, sharing and subscribing. It really does mean a lot. I'm approaching quite a few uh, uh, thousand subscribers now, which is really exciting. So I really do appreciate it. Um, I think I will be doing something really special quite soon. So stay tuned. But let's have a look Taurus. September, Taurus. King of Swords, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, okay, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups, And the magician okay having a look at the king of swords here um, I love this Taurus this shows me that you have a lot of direction in September there's a lot of momentum that's happening you're really in your power you're deliberate in your thoughts deliberate in your intentions deliberate in your words I feel like September is a really strong month for you what's interesting you have the king of swords accompanied by the queen of swords this says to me some of you if you are single you're, you have someone around you in your social circle that you're currently talking to that you will be dating in the future. It could just be that you develop a really strong friendship with this person, but I think seeing the king and the queen, it's more so delving deeper into relationships and the fact that you would complement each other quite well here. Um, it could be a water sign or a air sign. So you could be talking to both. You might have multiple people around you for those that are single. Um, but there's a beautiful commonality between the two of you, common interest, conversation just flows, uh, you feel like you can open up to them. Uh, it is someone you feel quite emotionally, mentally stimulated by and drawn to, so that's really exciting. So you might have multiple options. For others, I feel like there's still this destined air sign that's hovering around Taurus. Gemini, Libra or Aquarius could also be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or an Aries down here with a uh, Magician card. Or a Gemini in particular, though, because Gemini is the only option, this the only sign that has popped up twice. So this person is still in your future; they're still in your path. Um, so it's interesting to see what happens ahead. But September could be um, a breakthrough month in terms of this of this union. Um, or for those that are exist in an existing relationship with the uh, the king and the uh, queen here. This goes to show that your partnership, your your um, your bond will become stronger, coming together more, being united, standing united, standing firm in something. Uh, so I love this that the couples have um, come in, come up together. But for others, I feel like this person is really in your destiny and I'm really excited to hear about them and know who they are because they keep coming up. It's either they're thinking about you, they have such a strong um, wanting to be with you, to manifest a relationship with you that they're coming up in the spread here. And, this, and, and on and on the cycle goes. So I think some of you, you will be becoming very exclusive in relationships in September, changing your Facebook status, you know, of course, that's the benchmark for exclusivity. Is it still or has that changed? Um, but, you know, becoming really exclusive and wow, just being established. There's a lot of, there's a, there's a, uh, a newfound establishment coming up here, Taurus. So this is very exciting. Um with the king of swords in a career it's about you having direction momentum um, being charismatic being bold being confident approaching what you need to with um, confidence with sternness um, a lot of important meetings coming up a lot of um, important conversations where people will be guided by your word and people will depend on your word so you must not go back on that Taurus not that you ever do um, you're pretty good at following through with things I must say so the Queen of Cups is the next card over. Emotional fulfillment, bliss, happiness. You're holding the Holy Grail here. What a beautiful month, I think, for you, Taurus. 
Queen of Cups is all about holding the Holy Grail. Something is making you really, really passionate, blissful, joyful, abundant, appreciative, grateful. You're in admiration of something here with the Queen of Cups. In a relationship, I feel like you know this person around you here is bringing you such wonderful feelings and arousing beautiful feelings of love and passion and desire and feeling wanted and feeling sexy and feeling manly or feeling feminine. Regardless, it's evoke this person. I think this relationship is evoking um, a lot of feelings in you. I also feel as though a threshold will be crossed in September and you'll either A, fall in love with someone or fall deeper for someone. Um, or become more emotionally drawn or dependent on them. So this threshold will be crossed sometime in September with the Queen of Cups. In a work sense, it's you. You've got a lot of ideas and you have a job or a role around you that you're very passionate by and that you could lead. It almost looks like a trophy. So you might be receiving, um, it also looks like a trophy here, you know, this chalice. You might be also receiving a... Um, a symbol, a token, a trophy, an award, a medal for your services, for your uh, work ethic, for your accomplishments, for your um, clients, you know, um, commissions, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, you may receive some sort of reward here. It's shiny and gold and people will be like, oh, wow, look at this person. They've done this. Um, and I love it. It's more commitment. It's dedication with the Queen of Cups. Also a water sign in the work, in the work sense could be another two fellow team members three or four team members that are helping you in some way helping you bring about your passions helping you uncover your passions maybe it's a partner maybe it's a work associate but I think um, you're moving towards beautiful things here Taurus next card over is this queen of swords that keeps popping up for you maybe not every month on the month but a lot of times she keeps popping up so I'm not sure if this is, as I said, who, this fated air sign that's coming in, that you're supposed to be with, you may hear news about this person. Maybe they're not in your social circle yet, but you'll hear news. You'll see something on social media. The Wheel of Fortune is here, so it's either um, you'll bump into this person. Fate will orchestrate an, an encounter between the two of you in September. Somehow, you'll either dream about them, hear from them, hear about them, bump into them, see them, hear news from them in this month of September. For those that it's not an air sign and you are in an existing relationship with, an, with a water sign, a fire sign or a fellow earth sign, I feel like this is the two of you coming closer together. Beautiful um, cycle here, what looks like a ring. There could be engagements, you know, we do see this king and queen. There could be an engagement. There could be certainly be a proposal this month, either from yourself or from this other person. Could be an important conversation that's happening in a relationship or in a business partnership. The Queen of Swords is charismatic. Um, it could be higher learning, training as well. Maybe you'll be conducting a seminar with someone, Taurus. Um, you'll be teaching or leading, educating, inspiring, mentoring or motivating in some aspect here if it's in the work front. Also, there could be up to two important conversations. We see two kings, uh, sorry, two... Um, members of the monarchy here and we see two chalices so there could be up to two important conversations or two important people around you in the work aspect on the work front um, in business as well a collaboration maybe there's this is an investor someone um, piping up and telling you they want to invest in the business they want to make chill um, make changes sorry not make children well you never know maybe Maybe um, maybe this is the month your significant other tells you they want to plan for a baby. They want to start trying for a baby. They want to plan a, to have that happy family home. There's an important breakthroughs and conversations that will be happening in both the business and the work front. But you'll, you'll mutually agree. I feel like it will be effortless and you will just agree um, together. You'll, have, you'll be on the same wavelength because you're both, you're both uh, thinking the same. We see the, the swords here. So you're both thinking, visualizing the same thing. You're on the same frequency. So whatever this means in love or work or business partnerships, collaborations, or you know maybe you're a writer and you're putting your head down with another fellow writer to... Um, make something great this is coming together and you'll you'll be amazed at how effortless it is and how much 
how you're both passionate and you're going in the same direction as each other. You have the Wheel of Fortune, beautiful card. Fated things are happening around you this month, Taurus. Fated conversations, fortune, conversations about fortune, conversations about your future. Maybe you're consulting an oracle this month. Maybe you're getting a tarot reading. Something that's coming in here with the Wheel of Fortune that you'll be very, um, very enamored by. It could be sudden bouts of good luck. Winning something. You could win a competition this month. We see the chalices here. The Wheel of Fortune, again, could be sending you a person you're destined to be with. There's signs from the universe this month you need to pay attention. It could have something to do with circles, kings and queens, chalices, something that's shiny. Now, the magician here could be a concert venue, a famous person. Maybe you're famous and you have a fan that's approaching you, or maybe you're a fan and you have someone famous, you know, whether it's Instagram famous or Hollywood famous, whatever it is. It's some sort of link here that's happening. Uh, this person is drawing you out. And that's strong. In a career sense, I feel like things are going on the up and up. You're going through this circle and it's, it's, it's an upward circle. Not a downward circle. It's an upward circle. To happiness, fulfillment, passion. I don't so much see as um, a new job. It could be, but I think you're just, it's more so your attitude um, that's going to change how you're seeing your job, your workplace, your career. It's more this shift in awareness that's going to change for you, Taurus, in the month of September in a really positive light here. It's interesting, the Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups is in the same column. So it is about um, finding more meaning to the job that you're doing the, the work um, that you're doing, the career that you have. I feel a lot of this will be caused by people looking up to you and you'll feel like it's your duty to do this, Taurus. It's your duty. Ace of Cups is about emotional fulfillment. We see a chalice, the hand of God, again, a faded opportunity that's being handed to you. Um... It's either an award, a client, it's, it's a lucrative client. There's a religious connotation to this card as well. Uh, so for some of you, there could be a newfound religious or spiritual enlightenment that takes place in September. Or an, um, rejuvenated religious zeal, maybe. Because we it looks like the Eucharist, we have the dove, the wine... Um, the Eucharist, the sacrament of Eucharist as well. Maybe it's this religious or spiritual humbling or enlightenment you may experience in September that just makes you feel on cloud nine, Taurus. It could be with a water sign. Beautiful, emo a new emotional relationship grows with a water sign maybe. And Aries, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And for some, there's an engagement or a wedding happening. You, you might have a wedding planned in September, or there's talks of an engagement or a proposal that's happening. Or you'll be visiting churches maybe together. You'll be planning a wedding, planning a ceremony of some kind. Um, or this person that's around you, either this water sign, air sign, or fire sign, is the person you'll end up married to, Taurus. It's the wheel of fortune. They, it keeps Fate keeps bringing you back to this person for one reason or another. Either in your thoughts, in your dreams, there's a reason why. And it's important you explore that deeper. Now the next card over is the, uh, the magician. New starts, new beginnings, manif manifestations, creation. Um, beautiful lush garden around you here. You have everything you need in your repertoire. I think you're, pre you're preparing for something with the magician card. Love the infinity sign here. Manifesting this dream relationship, manifesting this dream role, manifesting this important conversation. You will see things in the tangible, I think, in the physical realm in the month of September. 
This could also be that you'll be stepping in. At, you know, the magician is the master of his own craft. He's, he hones in on his own craft. So it could be that you're creating something, Taurus, where a lot of people will be talking about this. We see a lot of people admiring you, talking about you, and somehow you will inspire other people, either in a teaching program, um, in a self-help book, maybe you're writing a book, you're making a video, you're speaking with people, you're conducting seminars to teach, lead and inspire people. And this is something I think you'll really enjoy doing. And, you know, the magician is someone that has a fan base because people are so um, enamored by how this magician is and what he does and how he performs and who he includes and um, how he conducts his services, his shows. So I feel like You'll have a large following if you don't already, Taurus. Maybe you're famous, maybe you work in production, maybe you need to do press tours, maybe with the magician card, you're in the spotlight here. New beginnings potentially though. In a relationship, again, it's manifesting. Seeing the fruits of your manifestations, having laying everything out on the table. So again, coming to that mutual agreement, having those important conversations and a lot of honesty and openness and integrity, which I think will bring the relationship closer together. Again, um, help with this, help nudge this upward cycle with the Wheel of Fortune. Really beautiful reading though, Taurus. Absolutely amazing. I'm curious to see who this faded person is around you that's coming in. Um, could be that you've got your, their, your eye on them with the magician card from afar or vice versa. Uh, so feel free to contact me. Otherwise, I hope you have a lovely September and we'll chat again soon. Thanks again.